If God wanted us to fly, he probably would have given us wings. Um, earlier this year, in, at SeaWorld, the sky ride was uh, stopped and people were stranded on it. Today, a similar thing happened on the sky gondola ride at Disney World, uh, where people were stranded on it for three hours. Uh, this vid video I'm showing now is from uh, the Orange County Fair sky ride, which my wife and I rode before, and she was worried about being stranded on it, and she probably was rightfully so. Ten News reporter Laura Acevedo is there live, and Laura, the ride shut down because of a huge gust of wind. Yeah, and good news right now. Within the last ten minutes, all sixteen passengers on board have been safely rescued. You can still see the emergency crews out here. All of those people are being evaluated. So far, no one has been taken to the hospital. Now, this all started a little before 730 this evening. Firefighters said this rescue was going to be slow and methodical because a fall from the ride could be catastrophic. San Diego Fire and Rescue crews were getting them down using rope systems and harnesses. We know 16 people were on board when a gust of wind caused it to lose power. Of the 16 on board, an infant and a man who is partially paralyzed. Firefighters made those two a priority. Now the ride takes guests over Mission Bay, making the rescue more dangerous. The temperatures have also dropped into the 40s, so paramedics provided blankets and warming packs for those on board. Now we spoke to some girls who were on the ride moments before it got stuck. Their family members were still on board and had to be rescued. Yeah, it's freezing and of course he's um, he had a stroke so I mean it's also sad that he was cold and the 15 year old is like they're all scared of heights so I guess they're all freezing and scared and terrified also they're over water so it's even more terrifying. And SeaWorld did send out a statement saying guest safety is paramount, adding that they practice emergency evacuation procedures with first responders annually. Now, the statement also said that they are going to do a thorough evaluation of the ride before they reopen it. But again, the good news is that all 16 people made it down safely, and they are currently being evaluated behind me before it's decided whether or not they need to be transported to a local hospital. Reporting live from SeaWorld, Laura Acevedo, 10 News. Yeah, great outcome there after a tense night. Thank you, Laura. As far as we can tell, nobody has been hurt. Disney insists there was no accident, but confirms to us tonight one line of that Skyliner is down right now. So we want to get right out to News 6's Clay Lepard, who is live at Disney. Clay, what are you hearing out there? Eric, we just got out here not long ago, and I want to get right to those pictures and video that are being sent into the station at this point. We are getting them from viewers who were on the Skyliner and who are still on the Skyliner at this time. You can see the backup of gondola cabins and guests are now being told to open the emergency kits, which include light sticks and water. One park goer passed along video showing crews pulling passengers from each individual gondola, it appears. The Disney Skyliner hasn't even been open a week. Disney installed this aerial train system that whisks visitors from hotels to theme parks while going 11 miles an hour. There are about 300 enclosed gondola cabins spanning this entire project. It's unclear how many of those are affected though at this time since a Disney spokesperson told us only one line has been impacted as of right now. Back in April, we saw as fire crews prepared for situations like this, which require a fire truck ladder being lifted in the air towards each gondola cabin. There is still a lot unfolding at this point. We'll keep you updated as you get more information. But Eric, quite a few people still stuck up there. All right, Clay Lepard, do me a favor. Stick around there, please, at Disney. We're going to check back in with you later on in this newscast. Thank you. But right now, we have on the phone a gentleman who we understand is in one of those gondolas. His name is Michael, Michael Loran. Michael, you're with us? You in the gondola? Yeah. So, t first of all, tell me, where about are you? And second of all, who's in there with you? We were just, uh, we're actually moving now, uh, very slowly, and we were just out the outside, outside of the Riviera, 
and I have uh, my wife, my son, and uh, four other people in here. You said starting to move? Yeah, they just started moving. Us that slowly. is great. Okay. W what is it like in there? I know there's no AC in there, right? Of course, it's, it's night. It's been cool in here. I mean, there's, uh, they have been. Uh, we've had some wind coming through, some cool air coming through. So it's just uh, the seats are a little hard, so it's been a little uncomfortable there. But other than that, it's been kind of comfortable as far as, uh, you know, not being hot. Good. Everybody okay in there. Clay, you probably just heard, was talking about emergency kits inside there you've been told to use. Are they communicating with you? Are you pulling out the kits? Yes. Yeah. They told us that there was an emergency kit. There was uh, several pouches of water, ice packs, a uh, pencil, a notebook, uh, and a park bag. Wow. Michael, maybe maybe you can help us with this. So we saw some pictures. A bunch of viewers sent us pictures of the gondolas that appear to have smacked into each other right around one of the loading areas. So, so my first question here is: we we can't confirm if anyone was in those. Did, is the is the line full? Are all the cars in front of you and behind you full? We can't. I mean, the windows are dark. I, we can't tell who's in the cars or what. Oh, the lines were full, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, lines the lines were full. Uh, going through the cars were full. Okay, okay. And it sounds like there's a ton of people in those cars where you are both in front of you and behind. Uh, that's the picture uh, right now. We're showing it on the screen, Michael, of the cars that, that hit each other. Disney not saying anything about injuries. We're working to see if anyone were, uh, people were in those cars as they came into the loading dock, but it looks like there was a big uh, pileup. You were not part of that, correct? No, no, we were not. We were already... Okay. Uh, leaving the, the, uh, the resort. Okay. Michael, we're, we're going to let you go. Um, it sounds like you guys are, are headed back down, uh, obviously very slowly, but it sounds like it is moving again. We're very glad to hear that, and we're going to be out there all night. We're going to stay on top of this as, uh, I guess, firefighters continue to rescue people. It looks like from these pictures that they are. They have ladders up in the air, and at the top of those ladders, they have platforms, and we understand from some of the other people they are getting people down one by one. Michael, thank you for the call. Like I said, we're going to stay on top of this throughout our newscast and update you as we get more information. We'll check in again with Clay.